came out and I was like, I know I got that wrong. Like, what? What? I got another 4.93 and I said, well. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be talking about the MCAT, but we're going to be talking about my MCAT struggle so y'all know that I'm not capping when I say that I told the Lord himself that I was not gonna take this again. Cause the way my practice exams were talking to me, uh-uh. Of course the exam was shorter, but it was still ghetto. It was still real ghetto. Now I'm gonna tell you like a weekly schedule of like what I went through. Okay, we're gonna pray that this thing is actually screen recording and this is my MCAT study tracker and I made this with the intention of just getting myself together because I knew studying for the MCAT would be real ghetto. Um, this doesn't include like my content review, it only includes when I started taking practice exams and doing questions and stuff because I needed to keep track of like how my progression and like how I was doing this week. Um, was when I took my first Kaplan exam and as you can see I got a 493 and I was like oh because this was after I had done all my content review like I studied everything or what I thought was everything and I was like oh okay the MCAT one thing it'll do is it'll tell you about yourself that's one thing she'll do well um so how I structured it, this is how many questions I've done in total, 6,267 questions. This is what I did every day and then this is like what I wanted to um, do better on. Like if I got a question wrong about it, I would write it in this section. Also, I was listening to the MCAT podcast a lot. Like I looked at my Spotify, I listened to 14 MCAT podcasts a day. I think it helps, honestly, because it made me look at things like in every possible way that I could. So, yeah, this is what I would learn from the MCAT podcast because I was on co-op to working. So while I was working, I'd listen to a podcast directly after work. I would go and study. So the first exam I took, I got a 493. Um, so every day that week, I did um, full length review so I started out really slow I would take a week to review full lengths um, do some practice questions and then um, I didn't do a practice exam again because I was just scared <laughs> and then I did um, questions um, from the double AMC the second um, exam that I took I got another 493 and I said well this is gonna be ghetto that's when I knew I reviewed again did practice questions um, and then I took a March to Success exam, which is my third one, and I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. The next exam, I got a 496. We're in March now. That's crazy. Looking back at this, whoosh, I was scared. I was in March. My exam was still scheduled for May, so I was like, this is getting awkward. Um, so the next exam that I took was the sample um, exam and I didn't really put a score for that because it wasn't skilled I didn't want to get my hopes up I just um, I just used it as practice um, yeah um, also like I said before I also use Jack Weston so that's what you'll see here I was I was doing practice questions um, practice passages every day I was getting four out of six four out of five three out of five sometimes we hit that seven out of seven but that wasn't often honey and that didn't happen on the day of the exam at all. So, um, the next exam I took was the AAMC full length one and your girl got a 501. And at this point it's April. And that's, I was like, yikes. But also like, I just passed 500. Like, thank you. Like at least we're gonna get about above a 500. I, I really told myself if I get above a 500, I'm not taking this exam again. So that's when I was like, okay. You know, maybe where you know, like once you get above the threshold, then you just like shoot up. 
whoever told me that lied so i would do it probably like on the weekend i would go over the practice exam or full length as you can see there's some weeks that i did a lot and some weeks that i was just tired like week eight your girl was breaking down like um i think this was around the time that the wmc came to us with like yeah so we're gonna have you not take the exam in may it's canceled we don't know when you're gonna take it though so just stay tuned and we're like it was a mess everyone who took the mcat this cycle or like in the summer knows that this thing was just ghetto i retook full length one and i think my mistake was that i took it too close so like i remember when i get things wrong because the way I'll, I'll study it is really important i made sure to like dive into the things i got wrong making sure i knew every single thing like all the terms that that i knew all the terms i didn't know i go back and review which took longer but like it was really important for me to grow yeah so i got a 523 i said 523 Ain't, ah, okay, I can do that on the exam day. Ain't no problem. Like, I was like so happy, but I had another thing coming because end of April, and I got a 4.97 on this like half length. It wasn't even long. Like, it didn't take a long time, and I was just like, what is life? Next week after that, as you can see. I went in I said okay I'm not playing with them anymore I'm actually not playing um, and I didn't take a practice exam because I was too hurt from the last one but I studied this week whoosh April like April 27th because it was gonna be May and my exam I think I just knew personally that my exam was supposed to be May 9th so I should have been doing better at this point because if they had not canceled my exam like that would have been my score and that's I just would not have been ready by that point and I knew I needed to be so I I didn't I could not let that happen for when I actually took my exam by the time of my actual exam I needed to be ready but I have friends who like would just stay on the phone with me as I was studying would just sit there like I would have group FaceTime calls you know who you are I have group FaceTime calls and um, my friends would actually just talk to each other and that was just so therapeutic for me i don't even think if y'all are watching this you don't even understand how much that helped me keep my sanity helping me like calm down like if i get stressed it was really cute love y'all and then i made my own full length i think i was still really too scared to take an exam um and also i just didn't know when my exam would be at this point so then this week i am smiling because this was the highest score i got on a practice exam was a 506 and i took a magush exam i got a 502 that exam was nonsense though i wouldn't like i would recommend it if if you want more practice with like studying chem phys subjects um so that like you can learn how to do calculations because there's a lot of calculations in that probably more than what you need for the MCAT but it's good practice but I think it was just so different from the double AMC wording that it wouldn't really help me and I took double AMC full length 2 and I got a 504 I was kind of sad because I just had gotten a 506 but that wasn't a double AMC that was a blueprint one um, formerly known as next step so I was like okay I mean I'm improving in the double AMC this is where everything went left I said okay I'm improving with the WMC got 504 I don't have much time left my exam is now scheduled and it's for June 28th I believe it's June 7th I have 20 days to get this score up and I got a 506 on my next blueprint and I was like I mean that's good like I got a 506 on the last one but honestly it's it means that like that other 506 was in a while like i actually got that 506 but it's still blueprint honey and then the next week whoosh because it's all coming back the next week i did all all of this studying like when i tell you this week i redid 
everything from the like as you can see here redoing double amc material i redid everything and the double amc has over a thousand questions i redid all of them i said i need to fully understand every reason why i got anything wrong fully understand every reason why i got anything right your girl got another 504 this is when i said god why why what am i this i literally like i remember i was at the door i opened the door of my room my roommates had just come come home from doing something went to the door and i literally just started crying my roommate came to hug me she started crying because they had faith in me they had faith in the god i was praying to but me and like in that moment i was just like god you have me out here telling people the kind of work that you're gonna do so what is going on like i just felt broken i remember getting that score and just crying like and being at some point being numb just looking at the score and looking at the wall and just just not knowing what to do with myself because it was like i got a 504 before and i got another one so what is happening like defeated no one knew what to do with me i was just there i'm not even moving it back because i've done everything i possibly could like i was just like there's nothing else i can do god you're telling me i should do everything i possibly can and you'll do the rest and i'm doing everything i can so what else am i supposed to do and god was saying just wait if you did everything you're supposed to do calm down really sad it was a really sad moment when i got this 504 not knowing that the next week y'all are gonna laugh your girl got a 501 on the on the full length four practice exam two days before my actual exam i got a 501 at this point i'm laughing i'm not crying anymore because i'm saying god okay i've been praying for my test date every day i've been fasting and praying for my test date not for these practice exams so lord at this point there's no one else i can trust i don't think god likes he don't like embarrassment because i was actually telling everyone god is going to do it so i got a 501 and i said you know what we're gonna rest so i rested the day before i kind of like no i fully rested but i also wrote down all the um, um physics equations i took it with me to the um test center one of my friends told me to do this he said take it with you to the test center as soon as you get to the test center crumble it and throw it away because you're never going to need that physics sheet ever again and i said okay i'm gonna take this faith i'm gonna write them all down my friend who dropped me off was like hey do you want me to take this sheet back home with me i said no i'm gonna throw it away took it crumbled it i said and threw it away because i did not need it ever again i took the exam and it felt like it went by so fast there were parts where I was like why did I pick this why did I pick that like there's things that I came out and I was like I know I got that wrong like after you take the MCAT you'll be sitting there three days later and be like wait why did what but God because after getting that 501 on that practice exam I came out of that exam two weeks later I'll type it out your girl got a 501 seven to people who come out of their first practice exam getting a 510 next one 515 next one 520 and then on day of the exam 525 y'all probably ain't feeling this like i am because this 507 just know i worked for it from a 493 to getting a 501 on my last practice exam to getting a 507 I actually said okay I'm gonna take all your prayers into account for test day I'm gonna take in like every 
um, all your studying. We're going to put it all on test day. Um, we're putting everything on the line on test day. And I'm going to give you what you need to get so that I can take you to where you need to go. And as I said in my past video, I got into med school. I got into my top choice med school, one of my top choice med schools. And their MCAT score is like a 525 average or something like that. 520, around there. From 520 to 528, those all sound the same to me. If you've made it to this point in the video, you're a real one. And also, the best of luck and the best of grace studying and taking your MCAT. I know it's hard. As I told you, I was here crying, losing hope in not only this exam, but in my future plans. I said, I'll just do something else. Like, this is not for me, but God. So just hold on to faith. That is all for this video. I'll see y'all in the next video. Please make sure you like. Please make sure you engage with this content. Comment, share. Let's all become doctors together because um, our patients need us. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.